I remember I met these brothers from Toronto, Pakistani brothers, and they asked me, what do you do for a living? I was like, yeah, I'm a rapper. They said, well, you know music is haram. That was my first time hearing it. So I'm like, anybody who think music haram, they must be terrorists. I started running around brothers and they started telling me, you need to give up music. One brother gave me a book by a Canadian convert and he brought proof from every school of thoughts, Hanbali, Hanafi, Shafi, Maliki, verses in the Quran. Then he brought hadith that was authentic. Bro, when I read that, I had to say to myself, did I follow this into play? Did I follow this religion because I know it's the truth? So you gave up music. I said, now I'm gonna stop doing music with cuss word. I'm not gonna be in the outlaws anymore. I like was Will see, Smith music. Nah, it was still gangster, but it was just, <laughs> it was just like, I'll blow your head off in a friendly old manner. <laughs> Talk about a lot. Now, Johnny J is one of the biggest producers. He produced some of the biggest hits you can ever think of. I signed a record deal with him. Now I'm realized music is haram, but I'm already in a contract. I don't have the 250,000 to give back to him. Every day in Saju, I begged a lot to get me out of the music again. I would say about a year later, after praying every day, I get a phone call from my lawyer. He said, Johnny J sent the contract. He released you from the contract. You don't have to pay a penny back. You're a free man. And after that, I never turned back to the music. Alhamdulillah.